the patient came in with severe peri-implantitis. The bone probing showed the implant has lost the surrounding bone completely. After local infiltrated anesthesia, implant was easily explanted with the elevator and a dental extraction forceps. After explantation, the inflammatory tissue was completely debrided. Please note there is a keratinized tissue is completely gone on the buccal side of the implant. The complete removal of the granulation tissue is critical since the bone graft will be introduced and the presence of granulation tissue will interfere with the bone healing. The cell line irrigation was repeated for a few times to completely remove the debris from the explantation socket. The xenogenic bone graft mixed with 10% collagen was hydrated first and then trimmed into pieces with surgical scissors. The trimmed bone grafts are carefully introduced into the expanded socket. In our previous study, we have shown that the application of the compression force of the 30 Newton significantly enhanced the bone regeneration. Although the underlying mechanism is not fully elucidated, we believe that the compression could play a critical role in bony regeneration. However, further studies are warranted. The porcine bilayered collagen membrane is trimmed into pieces also and carefully delivered on top of the explanted socket. It is important to hold the membrane with a dressing plier in the long depth. Otherwise, it will be very difficult to control the membrane due to its flexibility. Also, it is a very good idea to use the periodontal probe soaked in saline to hold the membrane in position before letting go of the membrane. After the application of the collagen membranes in two layers, no more manipulation is required. It will cause more trauma if you try to push the membrane under the flex. Now, you are ready to apply the hidden egg suture, which is the ideal suture technique for the open healing alveolar ridge preservation. After you enter from the buccal side, in an oblique way, you come out from the lingual side. Then again from the buccal side, you go another oblique way to the lingual side. In this way, you will have the two crossed silks under the explanted socket immediately on top of the collagen membranes. And these crossed silks will provide better stabilization of the membranes and the bone graft under the membranes. To compare before and after, you can see that the keratinized tissue is nicely healed and this is the after final crown.